anybody thinks there's going to be some big downturn, I can tell you working in the investment world, it is unprecedented amount of money that is waiting in the sidelines to be deployed. Hey, it's Noel coming to you with another video. You know, uh, there's not a whole lot on the housing market that I can talk about right now because it's business as usual. Still seeing a lot of people coming forward saying they think we're in a huge bubble and there's going to be a crash. If you do any kind of research on the data, you'll see that that's not true. So I'm really not going to go into debunking that because we're still at very low levels of inventory, high demand. Until we fix the supply problem, the prices are going to stay up. It's funny because CoreLogic comes out with their numbers. So I guess I'll talk about this a little bit. I think we had some record appreciation the last year and the last month. And they keep saying that since... I believe October of last year, they've talked about the appreciation's going to slow down at some point, and it will slow down at some point. So the broken clock is right twice a day. So, you know, eventually we'll see appreciation slow down. Of course, we're having issues with affordability. Of course, there's issues with where a lot of the lower income housing is going to come from. And I can tell you this, if we're relying on the government to do this, I mean, it's gonna be not a very good outcome. What we can rely on the government to is maybe give some incentives to allow developers and investors to invest in more low-income areas because I'm seeing that there are areas that could use the investment but the cost of doing business is so high it's not worthwhile investing so there you have it you know if anybody has any insight to this I'd love to hear it I've been a little bit busy haven't had the time to do that research on what kind of bills are in place what kind of relief efforts are there I've been hearing about some of the rental assistance money trickling and I mean trickling down and you know some of these uh, eviction moratoriums and you know it's all coming to a head and I'm going to talk about my next video or where it is on the investment market you know that's where I'm really kind of seeing the real estate market it's tough to buy we're seeing at least more people coming off the sidelines and selling and that's going to perpetuate more because if now you can sell your house it's usually because you have a house you can buy and so that all snowballs together and that'll be great to see but the demand is there if anybody thinks there's going to be some big downturn I can tell you you working in the investment world it is unprecedented amount of money that is waiting in the sidelines to be deployed and so that is going to keep prices from having a huge dip minus some local economic issues now what's going to happen next year and the year after with everything that's been happening with pandemics who knows but right now it's uh, business as usual and uh, there's a high demand for homes thanks for watching leave a comment love to hear your thoughts